Hey everyone, my name is Samir and I'll be giving you a walkthrough of Agile Poly for Microsoft Teams. Now Agile Poly is an app that's targeted at teams that are working together on a project, whether they're working in person or whether they're working remotely, async it's, it's a good way to get in sync with the rest of your teammates, see what they're up to, see where they're blocked and help them out when needed. So in order to get started with Agile Poly, the first thing that you'll want to do is pin a tab. Your tab is basically like your control center for Agile Poly, and it's the place where you can see your results and kick off most actions. Um, so once you pin your tab, all the controls are available to you. If you're starting from scratch, the first thing you'll want to do is start a standup. And a standup for Agile Poly is very simple. It's three questions, you know, what are you up to? Um, what did you get done? What are you up to next? And then where are you blocked? And so in this specific example, there's a launch coming up for this team. And what they want to do is they want to make sure that everybody's in sync and everybody understands where each other are and if they need help. So again, these three simple questions get you going and you can preview them and author them in Microsoft Teams. Now, once this survey gets sent, once this standup gets sent, you'll actually see it right posted right within your conversation channel, right in this post. And it's there for everybody to see in this Project Remote Toolkit channel. Now it's three simple questions, very easily, you can quickly respond. So in this case, you know, I'm, I'm talking to what's been happening on the pricing plans and what I've accomplished yesterday, what I'm prioritizing next for today, and then whether I'm blocked or not. And it's very simple, very easy. It's meant to be quick uh, so folks can complete it very quickly. Once you submit, what ends up happening is it actually posts the response right in a thread. So you can see Kayla, as I filled it out, has completed the response. And there's another response that's come in from Alex. And Alex, in this case, is blocked. And Alex is actually asking me for help, need help, uh, need the final mockups from Kayla. So very quickly, right in this thread, you know, I can give Alex exactly what Alex needs in order to get unblocked. Um, so I have a question though. So first let me ask that question, you know, do you need it in an SVG format or a PNG format? And I'm just going to send that. And now Alex actually gets a notification. Um, so it's a really fast way for the team not only to get in sync, but to unblock each other. And what you're seeing now is actually other teammates have also responded. Um, and so you can also dig into the results right here just to see, okay, what did the whole team accomplish? What is the whole team working on next? And then who from the team is blocked? And what we can see here is there's only one person blocked, and that's Alex. So again, just very quickly and easily get in sync. And if you do want to dig into the historical results, because this actually does go out every day, again, you head over to the tab. And that tab both you can see the most recent results from a standup. So in this case, we're looking at a different standup. Or you could dig into the history. And what this does is it creates this system of record of every single standup on this project um, since we started running standups, which is good for running a retrospective or trying to figure out what happened days or weeks ago when you go back and analyze the output of a project. And again, this tab becomes that place for you to go see those results. And so now, since everyone's completed the standup, I can either manually close it, or when authoring it, I could have configured it to close at a certain very specific time. In this case, I know everyone's responded, so I'll just go ahead and close the standup, and now nobody else can respond, but just as before, everyone can see the results, so they can dig in just as they could previously, but now it's like a complete system of record. So I see that somebody's responded to, to me, and, and they're, they're responding to my request. I asked which type of image and they're telling me the image format. Again, this is happening right in the thread, right when everyone was getting in sync. And so I can quickly respond and give them the information. So one additional thing that I did want to add is that there's multiple ways that you can start a standup with Agile Poly. And one of the fastest ways is to actually pin it down at this menu over here. And if you don't have Agile Poly already pinned, you can click on these three dots, find the Agile Poly app, and right click and hit pin. And once it's pinned, it's actually a really convenient way to quickly 
start a stand up. So when you click right in, you're in that same UI you were before when you're trying to author your stand up.